morning. Yeah, we've just arrived in Tetbury. It's a beautiful sunny day in England, thankfully. I mean, it's cold, but it's still like sunny. This is where we are going for lunch. <music> Tedbury now, which is adorable. So we are in Western Burt. Here we go. This is the walkway. It just kind of carries on and on. I don't know if it stops there or carries on further. I feel like it does because it kind of goes beyond the tree, but that's light over there. It's not that high. Oh, at least it doesn't look that high from here. <laughs> is this shaking over there? <laughs> this is so eerie. I don't think anybody lives here. Everything seems so abandoned. Like, there's nothing there. There is nothing here. Yeah, so basically Lloyd is parked <laughs> over there. I had to stop there because I really wanted to see what this place was. I found out what it is. What? You're not going to believe it. Okay, go on. It's Hivegrove Palace. What's that? It's Prince Charles's house. Okay. It's, it, that's where he lives. Like his actual residence. So he's probably the owner of the other place across the road. Maybe, but he definitely lives there. Are you sure? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Look. Oh my god! <laughs> so we would have driven up right up to yeah. Prince Charles's house. <laughs> <laughs> we just checked into the Royal Oak in Tetbury, and it is gorgeous. I have to show you this place. So here we go. We have a la room. Um, there's another bit upstairs. I'll show you that anyway. But there's like extra beds there, bathtub over here, and on this. Very much a fan of this. Okay, let's go upstairs very quickly. These are the little steps. And then up here, which is kind of like a little mezzanine level, I think. I think that's what it's called. Um, it's like one bed, two beds. Good morning. We're off to actually nowhere really. We're just gonna be driving around the Cotswolds, like just stopping off whenever we want, going to like little, lots of little villages and stuff. Pretty much just <laughs> taking it easy in the countryside, as you should. Guess where we are? Right, should we go down? Yes. We're actually going elsewhere. Just there to make a quick pit stop at Bibbury because, well, I mean, look at the street anyway. Just love these cottages. Right, back on the main road. We are in Low Slaughter now. Wow, this is pretty. I can totally see why people recommend it coming here. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's the famous windmill of the slaughters. We're going up to Upper Slaughter now, which I think is around where we are. There we go, the porch house, the oldest inn in England. This is where we're going to be having lunch. All this wood that you can see here has been carbon dated back to 947 AD. So that's like over, well, almost, no, it is over a thousand years old, which is crazy. So this fireplace here, just here, I don't know if you can see these carvings, but apparently they were done like 400 years ago. And this, was apparently carved to protect against a coven of witches or by a coven of witches, I can't remember which now but one or the other, it was for witches Crazy! I said stretch my feet and make the most of like work off the lunch basically <laughs> I remember coming here ages and ages ago. I think I'm quite pleased with my decision to kind of stretch my feet after lunch around here. It is so beautiful. It brings back memories. Oh wow, it is actually snowing. Did not expect this at all. Final day in the Cotswolds, and um, I know <laughs> time to head back to London. But anyway, we've still got a few hours here, so we're gonna head up to Siren Sester. There's like a market on Fridays, and we're just gonna basically just chill. I love days like this, where like my biggest plan is like lunch. It 
It is really pretty around here. Time for lunch though. <laughs> I love the way everything just revolved around food.